Hi, I'm George Levy, and in this video, I am going to be answering a question from one of the students of the Blockchain Institute of Technology, taking the Blockchain and Bitcoin Fundamentals course. His question is about Bitcoin, and it states, where do I find information about implementation details? That is, how entries get into the ledger. I wonder how new transactions are added to the ledger and how the successful mining and proof of work is communicated. There must be some algorithm how the peers can find each other so that no one can get excluded. That is an excellent question and I'll give you the answer right after this. As we go through the answer of the question that was presented, one of the key things that I need to point out is that there are multiple different ways that you can find information. One of them is to actually visit blockchaininformer.com, a free publication by the Blockchain Institute of Technology, where we share a lot of these answers. That being said, there are a lot of other valuable resources which you can take advantage of as well. One of those resources which I will use specifically to answer this question is bitcoin.org. Bitcoin.org is a website that was actually created by Satoshi Nakamoto and another developer called Marty Malmi. Both of them built Bitcoin.org in the beginning and eventually Satoshi left and so did Marty. But Bitcoin.org still has a wealth of information and is constantly updated with valuable information on the direction of Bitcoin and what's going to happen with Bitcoin. So if you're looking for answers, this is a very good resource to keep handy. Among some of the pieces of information that are found on this site is this link, bitcoin.org slash bitcoin.pdf. And what you're looking at right now is the original Bitcoin white paper, Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, which was created and posted by Satoshi Nakamoto himself. This document is the most valuable piece of information in Bitcoin, arguably, because everything came from this document. So if you want to look at the vision of what Bitcoin is and what it was meant to be, this is where you really want to come back and refer to. So if we go back to the question that was presented, where do I find information about implementation details and how entries get into the ledger? This is a great source where you can find it. Let's go further into the question. I wonder how new transactions are added to the ledger and how the successful mining and proof of work is communicated. There must be some algorithm how the peers can find each other so that no one can get excluded. Diving into the document, what you're going to see is that it's ordered starting with the introduction followed by the transaction process, how transactions are done. Then we talk about the time stamping process where each block is actually time stamped so that it's chronologically ordered. We then dive into where proof of work happens. So now we're getting into the answer. We're seeing how the proof of work enables us to have a distributed time stamp server between a bunch of decentralized nodes. The time stamping tied with the proof of work is what enables this process to actually work. So when you want to know how this actually puts together, you can see it on section number five, where we describe the steps to run the network. What we see is that new transactions are broadcast to all the nodes. So as new transactions are generated, they're immediately broadcast to all the nodes. Every node collects the new transactions into a block. That is, every node is working on a different block, their own block, of the transactions that they have collected. Each node works on finding a difficult proof of work for its block. What that means is that every node is racing against all the other ones to try to find the right nonce to get the proof of work, actually finding the answer. When a node finds the proof of work, it broadcasts that block to all the nodes. The nodes accept the block only if all the transactions in it are valid and they haven't already been spent. This is how you determine that you don't get double spending. You see, you have all these nodes trying to compete to make their transactions valid on the next block, but it's only the one that actually gets the right nonce and the proof of work that has the right to create the next block. Now, the nodes express their acceptance of the block by working on creating the next block in the chain, and they use the hash of the accepted block as the previous hash. And as we know, new blocks are generated every approximately 10 minutes. So what that means is that this newly accepted block then provides the hash, which will become the previous hash for the next block that will be created. Then we will go through the same exact sequence and we will create a new hash for the newly accepted block. Then that new block will become the previous hash 
for the following block. And this process keeps going and going 24 hours a day, approximately every 10 minutes. I hope you found value in this show and you learned something. I also encourage you to subscribe. I constantly post new content about blockchain, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency right here. So subscribe, click like, and if you have any questions or have any comments, please leave them below. Also, share this video if you think somebody else may be able to benefit for it. From the Blockchain Institute of Technology, I'm George Levy. See you next time.